It's no longer just a concept or a digital rendering. Elon Musk has officially confirmed that the long-awaited Tesla Model 2 is real, with both the chassis and interior now fully revealed at Tesla's Giga Texas facility. This announcement is monumental in the electric vehicle world, signaling that what was once speculative is now tangible. The term confirmed in June now has real weight behind it, signifying that Tesla is not only pushing forward with its most affordable vehicle to date, but is doing so with purpose and timing. After months of industry rumors about production delays, cancellations, and financial concerns, investors and EV enthusiasts alike are scrambling to get every piece of information they can about the Model 2. And there's a good reason for this. Sudden surge of interest. Leaked specs and reports suggest Tesla has achieved a breakthrough in manufacturing costs, particularly with a revolutionary $3,750 battery pack. This isn't just a price reduction. It's a move that could redefine the economics of electric vehicles entirely. Rather than merely entering a competitive space, Tesla is poised to rewrite the EV playbook. The Model 2, whether seen as a more compact version of the Model Y or as a disruptive new entry into the mass market EV segment, represents a seismic shift in Tesla's product lineup. The stakes are high and the launch is imminent. Scheduled to debut during Tesla's annual shareholder meeting on June 20th, 2025, the Model 2 will be open for pre-orders immediately following its reveal. Mass production is slated to begin in early 2026, primarily at gigafactories in Mexico and Shanghai. These facilities are being rapidly scaled to support an ambitious goal. 500,000 units annually by mid-2025, with 60% of that output dedicated solely to the Model 2. But this car is more than just another model. It's a foundational piece in Tesla's long-term strategy. Built with the future in mind, the Model 2 is designed to seamlessly integrate into Tesla's upcoming robo-taxi network. Set to pilot in Austin, Texas, this autonomous fleet will allow Model 2 owners to lease their vehicles to Tesla for passive income, potentially earning up to $1,000 a month if fleet utilization hits 50%. That translates to $12,000 per year, enough, to cover the cost of the car in under 12 months. Further sweetening the deal is the inclusion of Starlink integration. Tesla is exploring a feature that would allow Model 2s to function as mobile Wi-Fi hotspots, sharing public connectivity, and generating additional subscription revenue for vehicle owners. Projections suggest this could add $100 to $1,000 annually for simply keeping the vehicle online and connected to the Starlink network. The urgency behind the Model 2's launch is also geopolitical. Tesla faces increasing pressure from Chinese automaker BYD, which already offers EVs for under $12,000. Simultaneously, U.S. regulations threaten to phase out vital EV tax credits. By 2026, creating a shrinking window for Tesla to retain pricing competitiveness unless they offer a low-cost alternative. Recently, the Model 2 was spotted again at the Fremont factory camouflaged at the front and rear, but unmistakably smaller than the Model Y, exuding a compact crossover aesthetic. Perhaps the most surprising detail was its apparent two-door configuration, drawing immediate comparisons to Tesla's upcoming CyberCab. This bold move raises eyebrows. Can a two-door EV really serve as a mass market solution? Doubts still linger. Many skeptics maintain a we'll-believe-it-when-we-see-it stance, especially since Elon Musk first teased a low-cost Tesla years ago. Despite widespread enthusiasm, the absence of a concrete release has fed skepticism. Some argue Tesla's hesitation is due to slim profit margins on budget vehicles, while others believe the real hurdle lies in manufacturing a sub-$30,000 EV without compromising on quality. Then there's the crowd who suspect the Model 2 is merely a tactic to boost stock enthusiasm. While these concerns are understandable, current developments suggest otherwise. Delays may have been strategic rather than symptomatic of deeper issues. With supply chains recovering and infrastructure in place, all signs now point to the Model 2 being unveiled within weeks.
In alignment with Elon Musk's stated goal of launching an affordable Tesla within the first half of the year. Importantly, the Model 2 isn't being built from scratch. It's essentially a downsized Model Y, leveraging shared production lines and platforms. Tesla's engineering lead, Lars Moravi, confirmed that the Model 2 will roll out from the same manufacturing line, allowing Tesla to hit a projected $25,000 price tag. Achieving this price requires ruthless minimalism. While it may lack the finish of higher-end Teslas, these compromises are necessary. One of the key technological milestones is its battery pack, rumored to cost only $2,500 to produce. This pack won't be a high-capacity monster. It'll likely sit between 50 to 55 kilowatt-hours using LFP, lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Though not as performance-heavy as nickel-based batteries, LFP is more affordable, stable, and suitable for mass deployment. Despite the modest size, the Model 2 is expected to deliver up to 300 miles of range thanks to a lightweight body and aerodynamic design. That's more than what a 50 kilowatt hour pack typically offers, which is closer to 250 miles. Elon Musk has often said that 300 miles is more than enough for the average driver, and statistically, he's right. Visually, the Model 2 resembles a Model Y that's been shrunk by about 20%. It's clean, compact, and tailored for urban driving. Whether Tesla will stick with the current Model Y design or use the sleeker updated version remains unknown, but fans are hoping for the newer design language with a modern LED light bar. Aesthetics aside, the biggest design philosophy shift is Tesla's intense focus on cost-saving features. Expect smaller wheels, cloth seats, and single-pane windows. Seat warmers, ventilated seats, and other luxuries will likely be absent. The touchscreen will be smaller, around 10 to 12 inches, and no rear passenger display is expected. The audio system will be basic, offering seven to nine speakers, compared to the Model Y's 15-speaker setup. The trunk will have a manual lift gate, and the hood will be standard metal, ditching premium materials. Every design decision points toward affordability. Tesla also hinted at developing a $1,000 electric motor tailored for the Model 2. If implemented, this could replace the more expensive $2,000 motor found in the Model Y. The new motor may use ferret-based magnets instead of costly rare earth materials, further slashing expenses. Performance estimates suggest around 200 to 250 horsepower, with a 0 to 60 mnap time of 6 to 7 seconds, decent for a compact car and highly competitive in the affordable EV space. As for full self-driving, FSD, the Model 2 probably won't ship, with its standard. Basic safety features like automatic emergency braking and lane warnings will be included, but the full FSD suite would require a separate purchase. Cameras, sensors, and AI processors will likely be limited to keep costs down. Beyond the Model 2 lies the next evolutionary step in Tesla's mobility vision, the CyberCab, a driverless robo-taxi designed from the ground up for autonomous ride-sharing. The CyberCab ditches traditional car design entirely. No side mirrors, no door handles, no grill. Its look is minimalist, futuristic, and completely functional. The absence of a steering wheel, pedals, and a driver's seat results in a transformative interior. Passengers can expect lounge-style modular seating optimized for interaction or solo travel. Tesla plans to use durable, easy-to-clean materials. Inside, anticipating high usage and even integrating robotic cleaning systems. Instead of touch screens, users will interact with the CyberCab exclusively through the Tesla mobile app, handling everything from unlocking the doors to setting the route and adjusting climate controls. This reduces manufacturing complexity and enables new levels of digital integration. The CyberCab's structure uses thermoformed pigment-infused materials, eliminating the need for paint and slashing costs and maintenance requirements. It's also built using Tesla's unboxed production method, dramatically reducing part count and improving assembly speed. Tesla claims it has fewer than half the components of a Model 3. Interior frills like panoramic roofs, rear entertainment, and high-end speaker systems are gone, 
replaced by simplicity and durability. This is Tesla's most extreme example of purposeful minimalism yet. And it works. Operating costs are expected to be around 20 to 25 cents per mile, which is remarkably low. This includes depreciation, electricity, insurance, and cleaning. In contrast, competitors like Waymo operate at nearly triple the cost due to reliance on expensive third-party hardware like LiDAR. Tesla's cost advantage could make its fleet not only profitable, but scalable in a way others simply can't match. Bow. The end of this month, Tesla is set to deploy the first 10 cyber cabs in Austin, Texas, with plans to expand into the thousands. Tesla has already been licensed as an autonomous vehicle operator in Texas, and real-world testing of driverless Model Ys has been underway without safety drivers. The cyber cab is more than a product. It's a platform designed to change how cities move. Every detail, from its lack of steering controls to app-based operation, suggests a world where owning a car might be optional and where transportation becomes seamless, affordable, 